How to create sub collections in Shopify step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video today, I'll be showing you guys how you can create sub collections in your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now, by default, there is no direct way in which you can actually create sub collections in Shopify. However, you can actually do this with an alternative method of building collections and then reframing them into sub collections. And I'll show you guys exactly how. So to do this, firstly, go into product on the left panel in your Shopify dashboard. Now I want to build two collections. One is going to be my clothing collection. And within that, I want to create two sub collections, which are going to be dresses versus t-shirts. So for that, firstly, I will go into collections on the left. Once I go into collections, I will click on create collection. And this is going to be my clothing collection like this. And I can add a description as well as an image to represent this collection. So I will go on ahead and add a image for our collection over here, like this one. Once I click on open over here, I can click on automated and I can add a specific condition by which it will automatically add product into this collection, or I can manually add products. Now I already have added products and I want to add them manually. So I'm gonna leave it at manual and then I will click on save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the two sub collections as well. So for that, I will click on create collection and then I will build uh, dresses like this and then click on add image and I can add an image of a dress. I don't think I can find a dress image. I'll just use this image over here and then click on save and leave this at manual as well. And now it's time to create our next sub collection, which is going to be t-shirts. So we're going to add t-shirts over here and then click on add image to add our image over here. Let's say we want to use this one for that and then I'll click on open and then click on save. Now, once you have created all of your collections as well as your sub collections, it's time to categorize your products. So go into product on the top and then open up your product. So we have this one over here, which is our bodycon dress. And I'm gonna go into the right side over here where it says collections. And I'm going to display this in both the clothing, dresses, and homepage collections. And once I've done that, I will click on save and then go back. Once you do that, you wanna do the same thing for the next product. So again, we have another product, which is my denim dress, and I will tick the same categories. Once done, click on save and then exit. Now I have this t-shirt over here. If I open up this t-shirt, I will go ahead and go into collections and I will add this to my clothing and my t-shirts collection and I will not add this to the dresses collection. Click on save on the top right to save this. Now, once all of this has been saved, we're gonna go into online store on the left. And once you go into online store, click on navigation. Once you click on navigation under online store in your left menu bar, click on main menu. Now over here, we have our menu items that are present. So firstly, I will click on add menu item and I will add my first collection, which is my clothing collection. And then I will click on collections and then I will select my clothing collection. Click on add over here. Then again, you're going to go into the add menu item and add the other two sub collections as menu items as well. Just follow the same steps and select dresses like this and then go on ahead, go into collections and then select t-shirts like this. Now you might say, hey, this is going to be displayed like its own individual collection. I want this to be a sub menu item. So to make this a sub menu item, Simply hold it by these three dots and move it towards the right under clothing. Then you're going to do the same thing for t-shirts like this. Now this will look like a drop down menu with two different types of separate collections. Click on save menu over here and once you click on save menu, open up your online store. Now currently our changes have not taken effect. I'm going to wait for my changes to be saved. And now that my changes are saved correctly, it might take a couple of seconds to load up. So 
you can now see a clothing tab and under the clothings collection I have two distinctive pages of either dresses or t-shirts. Now if I click on clothing this is one issue that you're going to run into with Shopify is that if you click on clothing it's not going to open up the clothing page. So if you want to fix that you can go ahead and go again into your menus in your main menu. And in your main menu, because you have added these two sub items, this is not going to directly allow you to access clothing. So you can go ahead and click on add menu item and click on view all clothing. And then click on this section where you're going to enter the link, click on collections and select clothing and add this as a third sub menu item. So under clothing, people can either view dresses, t-shirts, or if they want to view all the clothing items, they can view those as well. Click on save over here. Now, if you preview your bar or your Shopify store, you're going to wait a couple of seconds for this to take effect. Now, if I click on clothing, I should be able to see three menu items in the dropdown. Now, it still hasn't taken effect. It might take a couple of minutes. So yeah, so now you guys can see if I click on dresses, I can view dresses, t-shirts to view t-shirts, and then view all clothing to view both t-shirts and dresses. Then this will help you in building a collection page as well as building sub collection pages. Because there is no default way to do this, this is the most easy and efficient way to do this without having to download any third party applications. However, if you want, you can actually go into the Shopify App Store. And once you go into the Shopify App Store, you will be able to see that there is a wide variety of applications to build collections. So if you search for collections over here, you will see product and collection sorting, category and collection sorting, and different type of sorting tools that can help you in sorting out different collections. But I truly don't find them to be necessary because even with this simple strategy, you're able to present your products just as you would in the form of a sub collection and a collection using the simple navigation menu hack. Now, another way to do this, which is far more complicated, is to create a new page. To do that, you can click on online store on the left panel in your Shopify dashboard. Then click on pages on the left and once you click on pages, click on add page. Click on the page title and enter the first collection you want to add. And then over here, you're going to choose the default template. Now click on save over here and then click on online store. Once you click on online store, you're going to click on customize and then open up your new page by clicking on home page on the top. We're going to wait for our page to load up. And then once you do, you're going to open up pages. Under pages, you're going to open up your default page or you can just click on pages and then click on create template. And this is going to be my clothing page. And then after that, I will click on create template over here and I can build a separate template page for my Shopify collections. But this is a really long process and is not as efficient as simply setting up different collections and reframing them into sub items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to build your own collections and sub collections on Shopify. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.